I have recently found about the violence of killing infidels and godless people in hymns of Vedas. Being not able to read Sanskrit, I don't know how much this is true and how much is interpretation or misinterpretation. Can you share your views? So, first of all, okay, good question. So, this is a, a problem that many, many, many people have. See, there is no concept of infidels in the dharmic practices, in the dharmic worldview. There are no infidels. Like I said some time ago, like I demonstrated some time ago, atheism is very much part of is very much a, one of the schools of thought or a couple of schools of thought of the dharmic uh, uh, culture uh, so so if if somebody is atheist which means godless charvaka for example the charvakas were not killed for not believing in god i mean it was their it was their their uh, problem so to say it's your problem if you don't believe in god nobody bothered anyone for having a certain belief and again, there are no infidels or kafirs in Hinduism or 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 any dhar- any, any dharmic religion, so to say, right? So I don't know where you have found about violence of killing infidels and godless people in the hymns of the Vedas. Come on, there's no such thing. Uh, maybe you have read some translation. Maybe you have read some misinterpretation of the of the Vedas. So the the solution to this is to learn Sanskrit, and Indians think about Sanskrit as being extremely complex like quantum mechanics or something. It's not. Sanskrit is a language that is part of ev- of the vocabulary of every Indian language. Of, of more than 90% of Indian languages today. Whether you speak Hindi or Marathi or Gujarati or Assamese or or or, or Bishnupri or Manipuri or Sinhalese or, or Tamil or Telugu or, or Kannada or, uh, or Malayalam even if you speak Pashto or Kashmiri, you will find elements of Sanskrit in there. Even if you speak Persian, you will find Sanskrit elements in there. Sanskrit is still a living, breathing language. It's not hard to learn Sanskrit. It's actually quite easy. So one of the, so the best book I have found for learning Sanskrit is called Sanskrit Swayam Shikshak. Maybe I'll put a link in the description below. Maybe I will do a giveaway of that book next month. I'm going to do a monthly book giveaway. Maybe I will give away a few copies of that book in the next giveaway. So Sanskrit is our civilizational language. It is our ancestral language. It is very easy to learn. You can learn it in a few weeks. You can you can acquire a good working understanding of Sanskrit in just a few weeks. So it's something that everybody should invest in. It is an investment in your own, in, in improving yourself and understanding your own culture and heritage.